This is Patrick O'Brien, the psychic. I'm appearing at Mrs. P and me and my prospect every Tuesday night from 5 to 10. So if you'd like a reading or something, you can stop in and see me. Yes, I answer questions about the past, present, and future. I pick up your energy and I go with it. And I just talk to you. I have no gimmicks. I just strictly a psychic. 45 years I've been doing readings. Yeah, I've read movie stars. I've worked with the police, missing people, business people, lawyers, I had doctors. I have an incredible mix of people coming to me almost 45 years. And I also worked on a famous murder case years ago, the Diane Masters. And that was a lady that was murdered by her husband out of Payless Heights years ago. And they made a movie about it. And Treat Williams was in it. But she was uh, worked at Moraine Valley and she had disappeared. And I worked with the family on that. I didn't work with the police. The police at the time were the people that murdered her. The husband had paid the police officer 10000 to have his wife murdered. He was a lawyer. Alan Masters was a famous fixer-up attorney in the southwest suburb. I see a lot of people regularly. I've seen people, I talk to people in Bali. Talk to people in Switzerland. I talk to people in Poland. I talk to people in South Africa, the West Coast, Southwest, Florida. Call us for a Zoom reading or schedule or phone reading. COVID right now, I do a lot of phone readings. Oh, sure. They can ask all the questions they want at the end of the reading. You know, my grandmother, my dad's mother did tea leaf readings from Ireland. And my own mother was very psychic, and so was my mom's sister, Jean. And what's the most asked question you get? Now, all different questions. There's not one that is most prevalent. Because everybody has a different set of circumstances in their life. And most people that get to come to me, have heard about me, or a friend went to me, and they're recommended. How long have you How long have you been in Mount Prospect at Mrs. P and Me's? About 18 years. 18 years, wow. Before that, I was in Arlington Heights at a restaurant for 20 some years. How much time do you normally give for a reading? 15 to 20 minutes. Because I recommend everybody wear a mask. It saves lives. Yeah. I'm a firm believer. you got to protect yourself. And, and, and I'm a firm believer in vaccines, that everybody should get a vaccine. If you're not allergic to vaccines, obviously sometimes there's extenuating circumstances. But most people should get a vaccine. It's getting better. I think they're getting a better handle on COVID. And this president has a better handle on it. He's doing more. And he's also trying to help college students. Because you ask, what's a question people ask me a lot? A lot of people ask, will they ever be able to afford college again? Because tuition is so high. And I know the new president is trying to give extended loans to students that have debt. So I think the economy will get better. And jobs will open up. Be a lot of chaos because we have a lot of chaos going on in the country in the last four years of the last president. Everything was chaotic. People were leaving, getting fired, new people were joining him. This seems more calm and less chaos. And that's what we need right now. We need time to heal. I noticed that you don't charge very much for your readings. I try to make it affordable because everybody 
should be able to go to a psychic. If you're charging $1,200 or an astronomical price, who are you helping? Because they can't afford you, the people that need to help. Yeah, it's good to get a good answer or feel that someone's helping you because we're here to help people. So I'm empathic. So I feel energy. So in the future, we'll do some Xfinity Comcast uh, TV shows where... Uh, Definitely on Comcast, sure. Yeah, and people can would be able to, in the future, call in and... Ha and you also provide Zoom parties. Can you explain that? Yeah, Zoom parties are a lot of times office parties where people call me from their office and everybody gets on and has a reading during it. Then I go from one person to the next. I can do house parties like that, too. You've been at corporate parties where you've given, given hundreds of readings also. Isn't that correct? I used to do Condé Nast, the publication company, once a year party. But I did it every year for like 15 years. And there would be multiple people. I'd work eight hours doing readings. You... And come back every year they had the party. I just... They make an appointment, and then I start just talking to them. Can, can they you... don't have to say anything. I just need their first name, and I start talking from then on. They want to hear you pointing them in a positive direction. If you feel something with health, you can point them in a direction to get help for the health issue so they can protect themselves. So like an example, if somebody had two or three job offers, they might want to know which one would work out the best? Yeah, and I would pick up probably the one that would work out the best or feel the energy. Do you get a lot of relationship questions? Yeah, everybody that's a psychic world. Because everybody wants to know what's going on in their life. That's why they're coming to you. And you can pretty much pick up on anything, isn't that correct? Yeah, a lot of things. I pick up a lot of different things. So I just start talking. So and I try to be more specific than most people. I see. Is do, do you do you answer one or two questions or how many questions can they ask? Well they can ask questions at the end of the reading. I do the talking. I see. And then, uh, well psychic ability is usually God given. So your better psychics you'll usually find out they didn't take any classes to be a psychic. They've always had psychic ability. They're just using it. And the more you use your psychic ability, the stronger it'll become. It's like when you're working weights, the longer you lift, the stronger your muscles become. As you increase the amount of weights you do each time you do your exercises. It's like a muscle your psychic ability. The more you use it, the stronger it becomes. And as long as you trust your instinct. It's Patrick O'Brien, Psychic at Large, and I met Mrs. P and me every Tuesday night, starting March 2nd from 5 to 10. I've been at the restaurant for about 18 years. And the owner's name is Chris. And he's a very nice gentleman. And their food is nice. They have decent food. And the ambiance is good. 